guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Next week is Thanksgiving and every year for Thanksgiving, I want a look that I can put together within 10 minutes, which is glam, which is also wearable and presentable in front of all my family and friends. Because in all honesty, I'll be spending more time in the kitchen and setting up the table and welcoming the guests. So I want to spend less time on the way I look, but I also want to look good, you know, almost like magic. So here it is, you guys, I put together this really quick look that also looks really glam. I hope you enjoy it and without further ado, let's get started. I'm starting with this turmeric face milk from Colourpop. Skincare is extremely important, especially when it's cold outside. Your skin becomes extremely sensitive and it tends to crack and dry and chap, so it's always important to keep it moisturized. Now, this is going to be a family gathering, which means I would want to go for a very natural, flawless looking base, no Instagram makeup. So I'm going to first start with a concealer. I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, and this is in the shade Medium 100W, which has a peach undertone, and it's perfect for my skin tone. So I'm going to use this to color correct, spot correct, as well as correct all my dark circles, and also use it over my lid as a base for my eyeshadows. And then over this, I'm going to be applying the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Medium 11N, and I'm going to be applying it with a damp beauty sponge, again from ColourPop. I've been loving this. This is so lightweight and hydrating. Look at that beautiful glow that it gives. And it doesn't clog your pores because it's oil-free. So I've been using this every single day. Now, if you don't have a tinted moisturizer, just remember you can mix a little bit of moisturizer with your foundation to thin it down, and that becomes your tinted moisturizer and you can use it on any skin type. I'm very lightly setting my face with the NYC loose powder because I tend to crease around my mouth as well as under my eyes but you can most definitely skip this step if you have flawless skin. A big change that I've made this year is with my brows. I like them looking as natural as possible. I don't like overly done brows. So I'm going to use the Benefit Cosmetics 3D Brow Tones. This is a gel enhancer and I'm using the shade 4. Basically, this is like your hair gel. When you apply it, it keeps your hair in place. I'm going to use this to brush my hair upwards so it gives you that feathered out look. And then using this brow pencil, this is precisely my brows again from Benefit in the shade 4.5. I'm only going to fill in the sparse areas. I'm going for a very neutral look with just a little bit of shimmer. So I'm going to be using the new palette from Colourpop. This is Going Coconut. I'm going to first start with Lovely Brunch. I'm just using this in my crease as well as lower lash line to warm up everything. And in my crease, I'm using the Colourpop Blending Brush. And in my lower lash line, I'm using a smaller blending brush from Folklore. And I'm going to feather out everything and make sure it melts into my skin. Next, with a small bullet brush, I'm going to place Nutty in the outer and inner corners to deepen it. And then using a larger blending brush, I'm going to soften this and blend it out with the transition shade so it looks all seamless. And then I'm also going to use it in my lower lash line using a small definer brush, but I'm going to keep it very close to my waterline. I'm going to be using Coco Rush in the center of my lid with a flat shader brush to create that spotlight effect. And I'm also going to blend out the edges. You can most definitely stop at this, apply some mascara and call it done. But I'm going to use a black eye pencil in my waterline to tight line it. This is from Milani. 
To prep my natural lashes for false lashes, I'm going to curl it and apply a coat of mascara. The mascara that I'm using is the Milani 10-in-1 Highly Rated Mascara. And for lashes, I'm using Black Label Lashes in Brazen. To add some warmth to my face, I'm going to be using Coconut Breach. This is a pressed bronzer from Colourpop. And for highlighter, I'm actually using a body highlighter. I want to see how it performs on my face. So I'm experimenting basically. This is the Soul Body Highlighter in Golden. I'm going to use very little. When I experiment, I just don't want to go all in. So I'm going to use just a tad bit. For blush, I'm going to be using Growth Flirt again from Colourpop. This is a super shock blush. And on my lips, I'm going to be using the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Los Olas. These lipsticks are really long lasting and they don't feel uncomfortable on your lips. So even if you eat and drink and whatnot, they're not going to move and they feel very comfortable. And to set and seal everything so I don't have to worry about my makeup moving and I can focus on entertaining my guests, I'm going to be using the Ofra Fixing Setting Spray and uh, that's pretty much it. And here's the completed look. You can see how different it looks in studio lights versus natural light. I like the natural light. Unfortunately, I don't have very many windows in my room. I just have a couple, but I realized that the light comes from one side. So the shadow casted on the other side and my face looks weird. So yeah, I had to shoot this separately. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Comment below and let me know what you guys thought about this look and this um, everything, basically. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye, guys.